Hey, yeah, today I wanted to uh, discuss with you about um, um, what I've researched on Starlink, uh, sorry, SpaceX, yeah, the, the parent company that also own uh, the Starlink satellites. Um, as you can see, um, Starlink, uh, so SpaceX uh, company, um, there's always uh, an intention by Elon Musk to, to actually uh, list the company someday. And um, one, I am kind of like uh, having this intelligent guess that, you know, Tesla shareholders would benefit from this uh, SpaceX uh, uh, pri uh, pu public listing. And, and all these recent events have accelerated um, the, the growth uh, trajectory, definitely for SpaceX. Uh, um, as you can see uh, from the Ukraine-Russia crisis that uh, resulted in many countries uh, sanctioning uh, Russia, including all those uh, space uh, rocket launches, uh, whether it is uh, uh, space tourism or um, carrying commercial payloads, um, whether it is could be commercial payloads for, uh, you know, uh, for like to, to detect hurricanes or to um to, to connect internets or even uh, satellite connection for the satellite TVs that cable TVs that we, we, we watch. So um I just want to show you a couple of articles that I've read, you know, and I felt that um um the one of the reason actually I talk about this as well is partly um due to the fact that uh, there's gonna be um or well, there is a launch now of this next uh, transporter four using the 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 Rap Raptor two uh, engines and uh, why I wanted to, to to discuss a little bit more about the Raptor two engines uh, liquefied oxygen engine is of course um, in, you know in this uh, supply chain crisis that's going on and all that right uh, it's very important uh, to be able to understand how fast a company can scale quickly, you know, to capture the market, to take the market share. If they are still unable to provide the, I mean, produce the, the rocket engines um, quick enough and, and to be able to do more launches in a month, et cetera, uh, even though there is, um, uh, uh, you know, there can be, a, you know, one, one person's losses can be another person's gain. Uh, like, for example, Russia's losses in this uh, aerospace industry due to the sanction. But if you are un unable to scale, like for example, having um, able to manufacture enough rockets quickly enough, then it's still not good enough to, to actually uh, take over the market share. Um, <clears throat> I will talk to you about this a bit. And then, of course, rockets uh, for uh, test, uh, L Star SpaceX is they are reusable. So their main concern is actually manufacturing the engines. So, um, so um, how US companies, uh, space company to benefit from Russia pullback? I uh, just want to show you a couple of things. Um, uh, U.S. space company poised to benefit as Russia cut ties to industry. So um, there are still there are just you know many many companies around the world. Uh, they have always been looking for for um, Ukraine and 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 um, you know Russia is rapidly cutting itself off the much of the global space industry in response to Western sanctions due to the invasion. Um, so as you can see, Russia and Ukraine have for decades contributed significantly to the global space industry because it's cheap. Uh, I think I mentioned it to you before, you know, when I was working in Miasa a long time ago, um, um, the, the, we also signed a launch. I mean, okay, so I mean, the launch launch of the, the it was actually public news, launch of the, the rockets was also, uh, of the satellites was also done in Russia. Can't remember exactly which part of Russia. So, um, and Tesla actually, um, one of the reasons why uh, I would say that Tesla companies are actually doing um, will benefit from the uh, Space Act listing, uh, which uh, of course now is still a loss making company. But if you look at the all this uh, thing that's happening right now, you know the the for them to hit an inflection point, you know of of, of uh, they would reduce their losses every quarter, as as they they they, they grow much uh, more, and they'll become to a point whereby they'll hit they'll become a profitable company. And uh, that's uh, Elon Musk has always wanted to list the company when it's kind of like near to its break even point, so it doesn't have to go through those um, public scrutiny, you know, and it's still loss making like how he did with Tesla. But at that time, he has no choice. 
so uh, Tesla actually funded um, uh, some money in, in SpaceX. And take note, if you like, uh, Google also is a, is a shareholder of SpaceX. Uh, so if you, if you want to, you know, find another more um, companies that has lower PE, uh, or, um, that, then, then you might want to ex explore into Google. If you want to have a stake in, in, in the uh, aerospace industry. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so I just wanted to show you a <coughs> um, couple of other things that's quite interesting. Uh, and of course, Elon Musk co-founded uh, SpaceX. So Starlink is one of the thing I think uh, the growth has accelerated. As you can see, Starlink is, is a, a, a subsidiary of SpaceX. Uh, they are actually uh, meaning uh, SpaceX using the Falcon 9 or Falcon 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, rockets to go up is actually to, 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 uh, lot to, to, and the payload is actually their own company's assets, which is Starlink satellites. And um, they are providing uh, internet uh, connection to the whole world. And as you can see, they, are, they, they play such an important role in the Russia-Ukraine war, supplying the satellite dishes to, to, to Ukraine. Uh, as you can see, all those war, one of the few um, threats that are, or targets, you know, by by um, oppositions would be or, or opponents would be to to hit those telco and energy, your know, power plants and all that. So, um, just show you, uh, SpaceX in two thousand twenty zero five uh, raised a one billion funding from Google. So in exchange for eight point three three, that's significant. Okay, so take note if you are buying Google. There is also an upside for this uh, potential SpaceX uh, listing that is, I think, looking really uh, near in the horizon. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, of course, uh, there's another small cap company that I really like. It's called the Astra Space. You know, uh, there's been rumor, you can see from Twitter, that uh, the recent Astra Space launch that was successful after a couple of... Um, mishaps right one of the payloads you know they carry i think four to five different customers payload one of them was a, a, a geographical uh, one of the state geographical association or, or their departments where they wanted to track hurricane uh, movements so they were one of the customers as well and there's another customer and there's another vip customer blah blah that kind of thing so mm, so actually um i think um uh, SpaceX um, space uh, domina uh, domination is uh, is I um, mean space domination is actually a, a type of a national security as well. Um, you know, uh, detecting uh, in enemy movements and all that. You know, so okay, it's a very speculative news on SpaceX and uh, uh, and Astra Space. <laughs> um, just want to show you we a few very good um, research articles coming up uh, in a short while. Um, yeah, the SpaceX boomstick, you know, a very sarcastic remark, you know, uh, cleaning up contracts, you know, basically they are just sucking up whatever uh, um, customers they are because they are the best in town, uh, reusable rockets, they just need to scale they are, um, uh, this one. So, um, so this is the launch that is going to happen right now, uh, I think yesterday lift about 22,000 kilogram to low earth orbiting. Uh, I, I will discuss, I'll, I'll share with you a bit about what's the meaning of Leo and Neo and, and they're, they're just three circumference, you know, for, for uh, the space market. So I um, just want to show you this one. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, just want to show you this one, which is quite good. mention is the communication sector, the telecommunication sector, and also uh, the new constellations that uh, companies like SpaceX and countries like China, India are talking about. They're talking about satellites, thousands of them orbiting the Earth, transmitting TV signals, phone calls, GPS locations, military information, and of course, the weather yeah, to those so of us back things, here on Earth. Yeah. I don't think people realize that they actually depend on space for almost so many of their platforms today. E-commerce is supported by uh, space. Navigation is supported by space. You know, uh, 
transactions, for example, ATM transactions are supported by satellite support systems. So that's where the space economy is. But where exactly are yeah, those satellites? Obvious. Mostly in three orbits. The closest to the Earth's surface is low Earth orbit, or LEO. Is Next is medium Earth orbit, or MEO. And furthest from Earth's surface is geosynchronous, or GEO orbit. Yes. LEO is the hotspot right now for satellites. Leo, yes. The closer the satellite is to the Earth's surface, so as you can see, there are just so many markets, you know, as you, you know, you know, when you talk about cybersecurity uh, fears, you know, where people, um, there's been talks that Russia might launch cybersecurity wars against US and all that, especially on the energy companies or even on our big techs, you know, uh, US big, big techs like Google and all that. So, you know, and then you have all those cloud data information that are very important to access, you know, um, which can cybersecurity wars can actually paralyze access to those important data, whether it's uh, uh, defense or, or whatever. And uh, so if you have, um, that's why I think one of the reason Google enter into this business is also kind of like a, uh, a vertical integration or parallel or horizontal integration into their business to, to protect their, the, the accessibility of their data. If there is no power um, uh, provided for in, in on land, so so satellites, you can see, is, is, is powered by solar. And there's always that, if you can see, they are like wings and they are uh, powered by the, the sun. So it's um, pretty good. Um, or they, they so... Um, Another thing about uh, the the raptor on why why the raptor is doing so well is let me see this. Uh, I want to show you this video. Okay, okay, okay. This one. Definitely blow your mind. The company's building a new cutting edge SpaceX factory another month to integrate. So hopefully May engines. for orbital flight test. Well, Elon's promising numbers are increasing rapidly. However, Elon Musk's plan in the future will definitely blow your mind. The company's building a new cutting-edge SpaceX factory located at the company's expansive McGregor, Texas area. This will focus on volume production of Raptor 2, while California factory will make the Raptor vacuum and new experimental designs, he said. By volume production, I mean two to four engines per day. That's super high volume for big rocket engines but low volume by automotive standards must. So if you can see two to four, you know, per day engines, very important. So if they want to scale up and they want to have uh, a couple of launches per week, you know, so it's actually within the horizon for, for, for SpaceX, unlike other companies. And they uh, take note is reusable rockets. So uh, they can use it so many times. They don't have to buy raw materials again. Uh, or, or uh, as much. So um, yeah, that's all for today. Um, sorry, I'm running a bit long for this uh, episode and um, hope you like uh, my research on Starlink and their yeah, subsidiaries, uh, SpaceX and other types of um, uh, space uh, exploration business that they have. Of course, they have the Mar Mar Mars division as well. And they recently, they was awarded to, uh, to, to launch to moon, the moon to the moon as well, and then you got space tourism. Um, then you got uh, Starling, which is their own company, and they have uh, they're also doing like a, just like a transport company for other commercial uh, companies around the world. Yeah, so thank you very much. Uh, please click a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.